Hello there. Now, I've never been scuba diving with Lloyd and nor have I ever invited him into my house to look at my fish tank. I've never been paid to go scuba diving with Lloyd and that's because I'm the kind of person who would give it up for free. Lloyd is a very decent and honourable kind of person and he would always pay for it and that's a good thing. Now, I understand that there's a litigation list that Lloyd is compiling, but sadly I've been blocked by Lloyd, so that makes it impossible for me to know if I've made the list. It's my understanding that anybody who is anybody is on the list is basically an A-list of celebrities. If you want traffic on your social media, you need to get on the list. If you want to get on the list, you need to commit the crime of defamation as defined by the Defamation Act 2013. That's in the UK. I'm sure that Lloyd will have his legal team working on the defamation laws of all the other countries, including the countries of YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, which have very young constitutions and are probably more like the Wild West. So in the UK, to commit defamation, you have to either say something, slander, or publish something and libelous that has caused or is likely to cause serious harm to the reputation of the claimant. Now here's my problem Lloyd, how can I get on the list when you're not giving me anything to work with? You need to stop admitting to things already that I want to accuse you of. Also, can you stop admitting to crimes? It makes it almost impossible for any of us to cause serious harm to your reputation. You said, the only thing that I admitted to was being a flawed individual. I would say that's a very generous interpretation. That's like me breaking into my neighbour's house every three to four months for four years and when I get caught saying, the only thing I admitted to was being over friendly with my neighbour in her house when she wasn't there. <laughs> what you actually admitted to was breaking the 1997 Croatian Criminal Code, Article 175, which criminalises organising, inciting a person to or abetting prostitution. The punishment is six months to five years imprisonment. Now, if I misunderstood you, uh, I got you wrong, then I apologise. If you went to Thailand every time for the past four years, then you admitted to breaking the Thailand Prevention and Suppression of Prostitution Act 1996, Section 9, which says any person who procures, seduces or takes away any person for the prostitution of such person, even with her or his consent, and irrespective of whether the various acts which constitute an offence are committed within or outside the kingdom, shall be liable to imprisonment for a term of one to ten years and to a fine of 20,000 to 200,000 baht. So legally, it's impossible for us to and libelous you. Morally and ethically, you've also made it pretty hard for me to cause serious harm to your reputation. Lloyd, just stop talking about your penis and blue balls already. We know they were massive and blue and achy when you were in Bethel. We know your wife doesn't satisfy you. We know you're not in control of your penis. We know more about your personal anatomy than we should ever know because you keep writing about it and talking about it and tweeting about it. Can your meat and two veg not just get their own Instagram account so that those of us who want to listen for hours and hours and hours to your amazing activist content don't have to keep having our faces rubbed in your sweaty, untamed nether regions? Don't know if I meant to say that. Anyway, I know you won't see this because you and I fell out a long time ago when I was being completely reasonable and you were being an utter cunt. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you, Lloyd. I knew that there would be a sex scandal around you in time. I thought it would come sooner. I was really hoping it didn't come in the middle of ICSA because honestly, advocating for people who've been sexually abused and then having an illegal sex scandal of your own is not a good look. But I just thought it would be common or garden adultery, you know, maybe you smoking weed and wearing ladies knickers in public toilets, the kind of stuff we've all done but we don't feel the need to brag about it. 
But no, you rewarded us with car crash viewing. And not just the event. You, you just couldn't shut the fuck up afterwards. It's brilliant. I'll be honest, Lloyd. It's a slow news day when you don't tweet or post some whiny baby man threats or justifications that make you look worse. Lloyd, if you do have a legal team, please stop paying them because they should be advising you to shut your massive gob. Well, I mean, I know you're not paying them. You're grifting for money for your base to pay this imaginary and stupendously crap legal team who are looking for the silver bullet law that says you can admit to breaking the law and banging prozzies on a live stream, live stream and then sue anyone who accuses you of breaking the law and banging prozzies. Lloyd, take a step back. You've made your marriage and your activism a humiliation and a laughing stock among everybody who's heard of you. If you can do videos and mocking content of a married man buying alcohol, but then squeal like a stuck pig when people do videos and mocking content of a married man using prostitutes, admitting to using prostitutes, sorry. I don't, we don't want to, please Lloyd, we don't want to see the videos. <laughs> yeah. That is one step we don't mind reading about your blue balls. Please do not post the videos of you banging prostitutes in Thailand. Or maybe do. I don't know, I'm torn. Well, then you need to get some perspective. If women are still supporting you, Lloyd, trust me, my friend. It's the same calibre of women that wore t-shirts saying, Trump come grab my pussy. Lloyd can bang me for money. Money I've donated to him via Patreon. Oh, wait. In fact, I'm helping you out there. That could be a good defence. Look, look through your Patreon list and see if there's any from Thailand. There's an argument there to be made that uh, you never actually paid for sex. They paid you. Now, if you really are the Lord Jesus Christ, go make that argument with your legal team and add me to the fucking list. I've earned it. Stand up. For Jehovah.